What's up guys, Bobcat here, and welcome back to Tales of Majael. Last time, we did the Ruins of Corpol, and they're still in there at the moment. And in fact, I remembered something I was going to do. I'm going to increase that to 40, because I noticed it were a little quiet. So, let's continue on through the Ruins. <clears throat> um, I did look up what Masteries did, but... I think they do what I uh, said they did. It has been a day, by the way, since I last recorded. <clears throat> so, I think it does actually give a bonus to the um, to the skills under that tree. So, instead of this doing 18, at the moment it'd do maybe 19, I think. Also, we have levels to spend, so we should. <clears throat> I also looked up... Um, what sort of uh, things I should get. So this needs to be at 3. And that needs to be at 1. Does this one as well? Um, ooh. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's get strength up first a bit and then constitution. Uh, what else? Oh, we can get blinding speed. We should probably get that. I will admit, I never used blinding speed properly before. <clears throat> Just never one of those abilities that I've ever really been very good at using. But it is extremely good. It's global move speed. So <clears throat> any um, I have to use. Also, what the hell are you get out of there? <laughs> Pickaxe down there. Um, <clears throat> hold up a second. Ah, okay, I see what. I thought this was execution. Never mind. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay. Now, what was I saying? I've forgotten. That must have been too important. I'm um, still coughing horribly, by the way. Oh, hello. So that's fun. <clears throat> One day it'll go away. One day. I hope everyone had a good Halloween as well. It's currently the first at the moment. <laughs> Dear Rolf the Ant Slayer. But yeah, it's currently the first today, so yesterday was uh, Halloween. Hope everyone had a good one. I did precisely nothing. Didn't go outside, so, you know, I had a fine time. Not exactly the most interesting thing, but hey, I know what I like. Now then, what are we going to have down here in terms of the enemy? Is it still going to be the shade? I don't think it is, actually. I think it's going to be something different. Okay, it's not this side. It means it's this side. Ouch, something's whacking me. Um, it's the possessed. So last time it was the Shade, <clears throat> this time it's the Possessed. I believe this guy is the um, the guy from the journal entries we've been finding. So yeah, things didn't end well for him, sadly. Also, ouch. Pop all sorts of bonuses. We even shout at him. We've got no stamina left, that's fun. Hey, cloud caller. Okay, time to leave. Cloud caller, <coughs> lightning and core resistance. Well, considering our helmet isn't a uh, fancy helmet, I guess I'll keep it. Boots. Oh, ooh, yes, please. I will take those resistances. Temporal, cold, fire, arcane, physical. Yes, give me those. Oh, yeah, I'll take that as well. Uh, won't need them. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at the amulet we just picked up again. Uh, this one. So I lose the mind damage. So, nah, that's not much of a problem. Seeing vis and see stealth I lose as well, but I do gain healing mod and regeneration and cut immunity. Whatever cut immunity is. Hmm. I might keep the withering orbs for now. 
Oh, blind fight. Never mind, I might keep them. <clears throat> I've had many unfortunate encounters with invisible enemies. Especially in places like Dreadfall. It is not fun. Um... Hmm. Well, this does need to go up to three. Honestly, I shouldn't have unlocked this till level 20 anyway, so... I could probably ignore it if I wanted to. Uh, give me... One point into execution, why not? And I'll max out Unflinching Resolve while I'm here. Speaking of Unflinching Resolve... Let's go to... Did I do Trollmire? I have not. Or Trollmire, let's go do that. <clears throat> we should be more than capable now at this point. It's only a low level zone. So I'm not too concerned. Club them. Shout. Spin. So this does... Uh, for each percentage, so... Hmm. Didn't seem to do that much. Well, whatever. Just beat them up. Summertide file. That's a uh, all right item, if I remember correctly. Nothing special. It's only level one or tier one, I think. But still, light resistance is really useful to have because there are some enemies later on that, um, well, they're pure light enemies, so they do light damage, and that can really suck. <coughs> We'll keep it with us for now. Also, while we're here, we should um, just go and knock this quest out. Yep, I'll keep it in mind. Uh, all items you can have. The... You know, take Skull Cleaver. There you go. Yay. Mission complete. So we can head into there now if you want to. <clears throat> so, we do Corpul. Now it's off to Scintillating Caverns. So we're going next. Pretty much always going to walk the exact same path every time. Uh, I'm going to stay here because I'm looking for the Scrolls of Necromancy. I don't even know if they'll be around here, but hey, I have no idea where, where they could possibly be. <clears throat> Considering it's a scroll that I think can spawn just about anywhere in any dungeon. So, you know. Now they sealed it off. I believe this is the Inquisitor, I think he was called. When we go to the camp, we'll find more of his letters. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to go to the um, Mark of the Spellblaze, though, for a while yet. Because that place is unpleasant. There are lots of enemies that like to cast Blight damage and darkness damage, and I don't have very good resistances towards those. In fact, I've discovered it's quite hard to get resistances for blight and darkness. Also, I remembered I have some infusions I should probably equip. So I've got a healing wild and a regeneration. <clears throat> Let's get this one. Yeah, it's better than this one, I'm pretty sure. And what else? Regeneration of the warrior, 200%. What's ours? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, never mind. Not 200%. 200 healed. Yeah, we'll take that. Get rid of our regeneration rune. Get a new one. <clears throat> It'd be nice when we can find some of the... I believe it... Is it the warrior or the titan? I think it's the warrior. Uh, I haven't spoken about the um, prodigies yet we're going to be taking. If we go into our... Skill tree, we have prodigies down here. Let's get two of them. Oh, it's different. Now it's 25 and 42. Last time it was 30. But uh, the ones we want to go for are I Can Carry the World. It's actually quite useful on a brawler as well, that one. And Legacy of Naloren. Because I think that gives us an extremely powerful ability. Or extremely powerful weapon, I should say. To use tridents and other exotic weapons. <clears throat> hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go for. There's other ones as well. Yeah. Pain enhancement system. Hmm. There's all sorts here, though. There's um, Triconic Body, Worldly Knowledge. There's a Luck one as well. Lucky Day. Luck is an invisible stat, by the way. It gives a small bonus to all sorts of abilities, like accuracy and damage, I think. Well, maybe not damage, but accuracy and defense and the like. <clears throat> In fact, there's a few items that will give us that. In fact, the Hermit, or the, um, well, yeah, the Hermit Alchemist, actually uh, can give us a potion that increases our luck by five. So that's something to remember. Um, I'll take that, sure. Grab up all the resistance of stuff, because you never know when you'll need it. Again, some areas can vary. The, um, what's it called? Path of... Let's have a look. The... Uh, Dakara, the bottom one. That place can vary in what it has. Well, you can't see my mouse pointer, so I don't know why I'm bothering trying to show it. But, um... That can have frost drakes and thunder giants, or fire drakes and thunder giants. Depends if the volcano is erupting or not. <clears throat> so, you know, things can vary somewhat. Let's hope it's uh, frost, I guess. So I think you're more likely to find frost and lightning resistant stuff. At least that's just from what I can tell. Ooh. Earth, water, fire, air. These are elements we forge our magics with, and I have seen, I have seen manifested in crystals here. But there's something else, something different. There are dark crystals which seem to possess some new destructive element. Very twist, a very twisting of nature and other elements, warping them into mal malign designs. Why have I never seen this before? I must study it. I must understand it. I must comprehend its very nature, and hold its power in my hands. The thirst for knowledge is all-consuming. I shall name this new element blight. Yeah, blight damage. Fun times. Do not enjoy getting hit by blight. It seems like all the blight spells are exceptionally powerful in terms of how much damage they can dish out. Also, all these crystals have unique resistances on them. I haven't pointed, I haven't actually shown that yet, like at all. But some of them are completely resistant to fire, but have a Massive weakness to um, ice. So, or cold, I should say. Uh, we'll have a look at the next one we see. Look at you. Um, <clears throat> I've been blessed and fully awoken. Blood corrupted with true power. It was a blessing. You must be able to need both eyes. Yeah. It'll be fun when we uh, eventually make a character to use that sort of stuff. That's the boss of this area. It's only got slight resistances. Um, I'm going to pop... Mm, it won't matter, really, I don't think. I'll pop it anyway, just in case. But charge straight through it. Stun it. Shout at it. Uh, dance of death. We burn through stamina shockingly quickly. We also dinged, so you know, there's that. Does that hit things two tiles away? Oh yeah, it does. Cost 32 stamina. Well, um, we also have fatigue, and I haven't looked at this yet, but fatigue does increase how much um, how much skills cost to use. So there's that, which probably isn't helping me too much. I'm sure I'll use five, why not? Use my executability. This one, um, you see, 100% resistant to fire, but 100% weakness to cold. Obviously, considering it's a red crystal, which I'm assuming is a fire crystal of some description. Uh, what was that one? Oh, it's a white crystal? Yeah, which is cold and fire. <clears throat> I know there's another one that has, like, 33% resistances to um, magics. It's like a quartz one or something. At least I think it's something like that. We probably killed one while I was walking through. I wasn't really paying attention. 
Again, I'm not exactly feeling too threatened by any of the enemies in this area. White crystal. Yeah, you see, that's got resistances to everything. Rather than um, one extremely powerful resistance. Okay. Enemies magic L. Control this blight. Very draining on my vi draining my very vim. Not sure what vim is. There's only a certain few classes that use it, I think. Because obviously you've got stamina, you've got vim, you've got magic, uh, equilibrium. There's a couple others. I guess I'll keep that rune. I've never heard of it before. Uh, I don't think I need anything. Do I need any of these? No, not really. I mean, that's tempting. Because it is a slight damage increase. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, I think I'll skip it. <clears throat> We're still very much early days yet. Uh, storming the city. Oh, I forgot to do that, actually. I was supposed to go and... Um, do the arena quest. Oh, well. We'll do it eventually. <clears throat> by 3%. Oh yes, please, I'll take that. We want to max all these out, so... You know. Um, hmm. I actually want to get some of these. Uh, we'll max out armor training for now. Hmm. Sure, why not? We're level 14. We've got plenty of room to grow yet. No, I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to skip through it. I want those scrolls of necromancy. Yeah, the council elders desperate to find us. The Inquisitor. Same guy who we just read his notes in the scintillating caverns. We never came across him last time because, well, I gave up halfway through due to it being an older version of <clears throat> Tom. Not sure who Wiseman is. Or Rolf, for that matter. Don't think I ever came across them. Heck, I'm not even sure they're alive. Might just be two random adventurers. Serpent's Claire. You know, I've never used a Mind Star either. I've. Oh, great. What's this? Some sort of. Oh, we're asleep. Nice. There we go. Not asleep anymore. Come here. Somehow we killed both of them. I'm not sure how that happened, but okay. Sure. Oh, hey, nothing in it. Or I should say, there wasn't a stack of enemies inside it. Which was nice for a change. <laughs> the mean looking elf guard. Oh, he came to me. How kind of him. <clears throat> the mine star. Again, I don't know what classes use Mind Stars. I think there are some, uh, what do you call it? Some classes that benefit more from Mind Stars than others, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to avoid setting off the copious amounts of traps in this area. Oh, hey, there wasn't a trap there. Hmm, I'm suddenly very suspicious. Okay, cleared, very nice. Ooh, hello. Uh, I'll take the rings. Almost always do. Oh, really? That's disappointing. Hmm. Uh, serpent's glare. I don't think there's any reason to keep that. Iron boots. Well, our current boots are just there for the insulation. More stamina. Physical resistance penetration. Sure, I'll keep those. I think our primary source of damage is going to be physical in nature. So, having something like that is probably going to be good. I think what I actually need is stuff like um, rings called blood bite rings, I think they're what they're called. But uh, I've yet to see any of those, or even know what they're like. So the build we're sort of going for is a trollish poem. Me like to club. Club, club, club. Grab some grub. When hungry, when hunger hits, me like to club. 
<laughs> but um, what was I saying? We're talking about uh, yes, um, blood bite rings. The build we're going for is going to be some sort of um, bleed build. Obviously, with the bloodthirsty talent we just picked up, you think bleeding enemies would be uh, sort of our primary goal. Where is it? There he is. Get him. Ooh, amulet of magic. Ooh, I was supposed to rank up my magic a little bit, wasn't I? Why did I want to increase my magic for? Oh, yeah, but for the chance. That's why. Completely forgot about that. Well, the chance, I think, are more of a, um, a late game option for us. They're not exactly a priority. Oh, yeah, this room. Yep. The room filled with skeletons. That all hurt an ungodly amount because they're all extremely powerful. Well, the mages and our resistances still ain't great. This one with the um, traps on the floor. Nice, he dazed me. Appreciate it. Club our way through. Hopefully avoid setting off any traps. Ah, there's one. They have a surprising range on them, do those traps. Do not underestimate them. Uh, regeneration of the Titan, yes please. Copy your amulet of magic, why not? I'll take it. Acid resistance, sure, it's got a bit of blight on it. We're over encumbered, so we'll need to melt some stuff down. We've got some white trash we're still carrying that we can get rid of. Brass lantern either. Eventually we'll do a bit more of a grand clean out. <clears throat> so we're not quite as uh, stuffed up on rubbish. I'm shocked those those elves lost to those massive worms, but whatever. I mean, I guess they didn't really lose because you know I stuck my nose in it. But it seemed like they weren't doing particularly well against them. Oh, nice. Charge him, club him, shout at him, beat him up. Yeah, the um, most important thing to do with spellcasters, close the distance and then proceed to beat them over the head until they, well, to stop them from casting magic. Is that a uh, letter we got actually told us? Where was it? How to battle a mage user. Mobility is key. Indeed it is. Rush towards them, then club them over the head to stop them from casting spells. <clears throat> Brawlers, which I will eventually play once I actually unlock the class. Yes, I know I technically have it unlocked, but I want to properly unlock it first. But yeah, once you play Brawlers, they've got some great abilities. All sorts of dazes and stuns, and the ability to just straight up silence the enemies as well, which is extremely valuable. Oh, there we go. Spell hunt remnant. And carefully preserved letter. Ouch. Yeah, charging down mages that can blast you with lightning all the time probably isn't the most sensible idea. Oh well. Spell hunt and remnant. Yeah, I mean we could take them if we wanted. I'm probably not going to. Ooh. Prismatic. <laughs> Prismatic stuff is always good. I'll take it. Probably have to get rid of something though now. Yeah, I don't like arcane disrupting forces. Mostly because I always use items that are... Well, that have arcane forces on them or... Use something similar. Yes, I'm over encumbered. Thank you for reminding me. Um, <clears throat> don't need that. Problem solved. Well, I've got fire resistance or I've got prismatic, which gives me exactly the same thing except more stuff. So I'll get rid of the fire thing. <clears throat> um, 16 for acid. 
16th acid, 11. They're exactly the same of those two, aren't they? 11 nature, 11 blight, 11 blight, 11 nature. Yeah, those two are identical. So, let's get rid of one of them. Cool. Got a bit more space now. And we have completed all of the <coughs> the first lot of uh, zones. <coughs> so now, where are we going to go to? I think it's Old Forest time. We do actually have to go and deal with the... Uh, oh, I've got no light resistance there, do I? I've got absolutely no light resistance. I'm going to have to look for some items to give me some lightning resistance. Because otherwise I am going to be in... Deep, deep feces, which is never a place you want to be. Because oh my god, the upcoming zone without lightning resistance is going to be nightmarish. Well, I'll say the upcoming zone. We're not going to be there for for a while yet. Probably not till the next part. But uh, yeah, definitely going to need lightning resistance. In fact, going to need all resistances by the end, including physical for that matter. But you know, we'll cross those bridges when we come to them. In the meantime, I'll just eat a whole bunch of nature damage to the face from that blooming Venus flytrap. Or whatever it was called. I don't think it's called a Venus flytrap. I think it's called a man-eater, isn't it? It's a little fire ant spewing fire at me. Club the sorcerer. I am still playing a bit fast and loose as well, so... That probably isn't helping the situation. <coughs> Still, considering I'm not even using my abilities, I'm just literally walking into them and hitting them. I think we're doing alright. And in fact, I'll cut the part soon as well once we hit 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm only doing 30 minute parts at the moment. Probably will go back to doing uh, 40 minutes at some point. Hey, a cave of bears. And honey trees, which are spawning bees. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Eventually we'll get through them. Yeah, honey trees. Like to spawn bees. Also we dinged. There we go. Let's get off the poison stuff. Surprising how much that stuff can hurt. Some blues. Nope, not interested. Um, of clarity. Ooh, excellent. Prismatic. Give me lightning resistance on that one. Uh, don't think there's anything else I want. Mm, tempting, but no. Uh, call resistance. Definitely want that. Ooh, hello. Hold up. Tier 3. It's a big damage increase. Um... We do lose our accuracy, defense, and disarm, but it's not the end of the world. I'll equip it. Cool. Let's keep on going. We've got a minute left. Oh, we have Snake City. Reminds me of the um, the ant one. And oh boy, a hallowed ghost and the war bear. Uh, Bellicina? Bellicina? I don't know. Hmm. I think this is a you came to the wrong neighborhood situation. Because, ouch, am I being beaten up? Uh, Club the Ghost. Eh, we're doing alright. The more damage we take, the stronger we get, thanks to, um, our berserk ability. So this isn't actually as bad as it seems. I mean, it still sucks. Get the ghost. Did we get it? I think we got it on accident. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. Oh no, the ghost is still there. Where are you going? Ooh! I didn't realise this were a um, Halloween event. A strange looking pumpkin piece of paper. And legendary pumpkin. I've, I guess that's just a uh, Halloween event. Okay, sure. Anyway, we've hit 30 minutes, so I said I'm going to end the part at 30. So I hope you all have enjoyed. 
and I shall see you all next time.